Welcome back to the Tang Show. Well, a lot of parents are thinking about their children for the first time going off to college. And they're also looking for ways that they can talk to their teenagers about something they might encounter there, too, drinking. Well, our next guest can help. George James from the Council for Relationships is here with some expert advice. Hey, George. Hey, doing, George? This is not an easy subject for parents. Where, where do you begin? Well, you know, hopefully I would want parents to start this conversation earlier on in the child's life. So maybe when they were younger, before they were teenagers, when they become teenagers, because it is difficult and you want to be able to feel comfortable talking about this subject with your child. And if it's the first time right before they go to college, you're going to be anxious and they might be nervous. So if you've started it early, you kind of get used to this conversation and then that can help you really to get into it. And I would imagine that this is one of those things that you can talk all day about it, but if you haven't started set an example for this child, it probably won't do any good. Yeah, you're right. It's really important to discuss familiar examples. So some of us have had families that have abused alcohol, and so to talk about that, what, do, what are our thoughts about that? Or we've used alcohol in a certain way. Do we, what value do we want our children to have? So the more that you're talking to them about that, having those conversations, then they can take on that value when they go on to college. Now, how can you work in the consequences of drinking without sounding preachy or, 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 or running down a list of things that, that just will go right over their head. Well, you know, on some levels, that's kind of the role of a parent. You have to let them know the consequences, give them the facts. You still find ways to relate with them and to hear what their thoughts are, but you've got to let them know the consequences, such as that the more that they drink in college, that it opens them up for whether it's injuries, DUIs, or even sexual assault, like stuff that they need to think about and that when they get to college, they can make the right decision. Okay, you can have this discussion ahead of time and you can set the right example ahead of time. But once they get there, sometimes it's a different story. Yeah, sometimes it's a different story because now they're on their own. They're dealing with their independence. What do they want to do? And so as a parent, the more that you stay connected, the more that you allow them to know that you're not stalking them, you're not there all the time, you're allowing them to be them, but you're still there. Parents weekend, you stop by, or once a year you're able to go to campus. That can help them make better choices around alcohol and drinking because they know that, well, every now and then my parents might show up. Well, and you can say that, hey, we'll be there for you, and you can call us at the time, right. but you can also kind of steer them toward other resources as well. It's, v it's very important for them to know that, all right, we've talked about this, we've talked about this many times, and I'm here. You can come to me at any time, but also to know resources on and off campus. So what, maybe there's a counseling center on campus, or maybe there's some other resources off campus, and maybe at home, that when they do come to you and say, Mom, Dad, you know, I've been thinking about this, or I saw a friend do this while I was away, what should I do? And now you can lead them the right way. Sound advice from George James from the Council for Relationships. George, thank you as always. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll be right back with more of the Ten Show.